Well, thanks a lot for the invitation to speak at the uh, 22nd Annual uh, Minsky Conference. Uh, Professor Minsky devoted his career to emphasize the connections between the financial sector and the real economy. It is safe to say that the events of the past decade have provided strong evidence in support of Professor Minsky's basic belief in the importance of those connections. Indeed, as the economy continues to improve, we are beginning to hear new concerns being voiced about potential financial instability and associated risks to the, macro, to the macro economy. In my talk today, I will provide some perspectives on those issues. I start by arguing that over the past six years, we have seen dramatic changes in the demand for and the supply of safe assets. Given those changes, the Federal Open Market Committee, the FOMC, is only able to achieve its congressionally mandated objectives of maximum employment and price stability by keeping the real, that is net of inflation, interest rate well below its 2007 level. I suggest that these changes in asset demand and asset supply are likely to pers persist over a considerable period of time, possibly the next five to 10 years. It follows that the FOMC will only be able to meet its objectives over that time frame by taking policy actions that ensure that the real interest rate remains unusually low. I then point out that, the, that low real interest rates can be expected to be associated with financial market phenomena that are seen as signifying instability. It follows that, for many years to come, the FOMC will only be able to achieve its congressionally mandated objectives by following policies that result in signs of financial market instability. Finally, I discuss how the FOMC should take those signs of instability into account when formulating monetary policy. Before proceeding, I need to stress that my remarks today reflect only my own views, and they're not necessarily those of any other FOMC participant. <laughs> 